Number four, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid. And then we have letter F. So we just have to show that HS negative can act as a bronsted Lowry acid via a net ionic equation. Well, just as backstory, Bronsted and Lowry were two different scientists that came up with this idea of what acids are uh, in a you know aqueous solution. And what they, they noticed was that acids always donate protons, or H pluses. This is called hydronium. We will get into hydronium a lot uh, this upcoming chapter, so hang tight for that. But all we just have to know for now is that an acid, a bronsted Lowry acid, always donates the H+. So if you donate something, that means you had it in the first place. And if we look at HS, I do have a hydrogen. And here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you have an H in front of a compound, so the first element that's stated is an H, it's going to be an acid, or it can act as an acid. So in this case, I know that HS minus can act as an acid. It does have an H in the front of the compound. So we're going to start it off by that. We're going to write our acid down. In this case, it's just HS. Minus. And since we're doing net ionic equations, we need states. Acids and bases are going to be in aqueous uh, solution, AQ. They're in water. Since HS minus is not one of our six strong acids, I will write um, an equilibrium symbol here. Just means that, you know, they're at equilibrium. You'll have some of the reactants and some of the products. Now remember, the acid will always donate its one hydrogen, and that's represented by just saying plus H plus on the product side. That means that you lost that one hydrogen that you had. So basically, in essence, this hydrogen that you had was the one that was donated. And now for the conjugate base, all you gotta write is what's left. Well, I only got an S here, so that's all that I can write. So let me just pull this closer. And that's the base, the conjugate base. Conjugate just means that it's on the product side, basically. But now the only thing that we didn't do was we just have to add a negative one charge to the beginning charge. HS had a negative one charge. So I come over here, I started with negative one, and now since I lost that hydrogen, I'm minus one. Negative one minus one is a negative two. And now we are done. That's all you gotta do, guys. This is your net ionic equation showing that HS minus is a bronsted Lowry acid. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.